Jim Emptor, Van Ana Company, Alexandria, Minnesota with your closing grain and livestock comments for October 23rd, 2020. Corn market up three, beans up 10, Chicago wheat up 10, Minneapolis up three, Kansas City up nine and a half. On the wheat, corn market up 17 and a quarter, beans up 33 and three quarters, Chicago up seven and a half, Minneapolis up 17 and three quarters, Kansas City up 11. So we've got a market that continues to chug higher here. Uh, we're into these 409 to 420 resistance areas, uh, area of uh, interest we need to be very attentive to, but no signs of reversal action yet. We see some sellers show up at times uh, but we continue to lead the charge, led by futures, led by bull spreading here in these market environments. Beans, 1079 to 1112 resistance areas, an area of interest we need to focus in on. But that's a little bigger range there as we uh, look at the charts here and potentially uh, target those third price counts there for the bean charts. So uh, again, markets continue the, the momentum higher. Obviously, the slowdown in harvest activity as a result of snow and rain through much of the nation. Uh, the rain is very welcome, but it slow down, slows down cash movement in a time frame where we've got some very big upfront demand needs. Uh, South America also forecasted to get some rain ahead uh, here over the next couple weeks. So uh, that may slow planting a little bit, but it's exactly what the doctor ordered for uh, that crop down there. Feeder cattle down 30, lives down uh, really up, I should say, up two and a half cents, 0 0.025. So really choppy action there in live cattle. Hog market up 82 and a half on the week. Feeders down 457 and a half, lives down 380. Hog market down 277 and a half. When you look to cattle, basically a 103, 106 live trade for the week, 163 dressed. Box beef was mixed, exports were strong, and really just kind of market that searching for a base of support here again after breaking down to the downside and taking out the 200 day moving average. We look for that occur really between this 98 to 103 area, which is very close to where we're trading right now. Hog market, on the other hand, uh, cash hogs uh, index 7820. Uh, D's hog futures failing near the third price count this week and fading here pretty quickly here uh, from this 73 to 75 dollar area. Pork cutouts firmish, but exports were another miss for the second week in a row, and that has the market a little bit concerned. And I think the catalyst as to why we saw liquidation this week. This has been Jim Emter, Van Onnen Company, Alexandria, Minnesota. Trading in futures and options involves risk of loss and is not suitable for all producers. Past performance is not indicative of future results. This is a solicitation. Have a great afternoon.